Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to take you step by step through making a Rochelle salt piezoelectric crystal. Then in the next video I'll show you how to test it to see if it works. These are the ingredients you'll need. The first is baking soda or sodium bicarbonate. We're going to heat this in an oven in order to turn it into washing soda or sodium carbonate. I found mine in the baking section of the grocery store. The second is cream of tartar, which you can buy from the grocery store as well. Its chemical name is uh, potassium bipartrate. Um, it's very expensive. This uh, one small 67 gram container cost me five dollars. Um, if you find it for much cheaper, then it may not be potassium bipartrate at all. There's a cheaper substitute that's used for the same thing normally, but won't work for making Rochelle salt. Uh, I found mine in the uh, spice section of the grocery store. So I'm, I've got three of them. Uh, for the quantity of Rochelle salt I'm making, I'm going to use 500 grams of baking soda. This is a 500 gram container. And 200 grams of uh, cream of tartar. And these three 67 gram containers add up to 200 grams. Um, you'll also need 250 milliliters of uh, water, one cup. Uh, I use distilled water for that purpose, uh, just in case the minerals or chemicals in tap water interfere with the reaction. So just to be safe, distilled water is what I use. Oh, the distilled water you can also get from grocery stores or drug stores. It's usually used for things like uh, cleaning contact lenses. Okay, so I'm going to take the uh, sodium bicarbonate or um, baking soda. And I've already opened up the top here. So I'm just going to put that in this um, um, lasagna pan, nice Pyrex container. Spread it out nicely. I'll put that in the oven. Okay, for the first hour I set it to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, pour about uh, 250 milliliters of distilled water into a uh, container. Uh, I like to use a measuring cup because it can stand heat. It's made of Pyrex and it has the measurements on the side. So I can use the same same vessel for both measuring and uh, doing the heating in. So that's 250 milliliters or one cup. Then take your cream of tartar. You want to make sure your container is uh, at least uh, 500 milliliters in size. It can hold 500 milliliters. Next, I have to heat the mixture. So I've got this saucepan right here. And I put this inside the saucepan. The idea is I'm going to put some water in the saucepan and heat the water, and that'll indirectly heat the um, mixture. So I'll just put some water in here. And I'll turn on the stove and just get it heating up. For the temperature, you want to get it so that the water in the saucepan here, not this fluid here, but the water in the saucepan, is just simmering. First of all, before putting um, any sodium carbonate in here, I want to make sure that the um, cream of tartar is in suspension. In other words, it's not all sitting on the bottom, and it does settle, so I've got to give it a little stir here. Then you take about half a teaspoon of your sodium carbonate, put it in the uh, cream of tartar mix here, and it should boil. You could even hear it. And you keep doing this until uh, there's a big boil there. You keep doing this until you put um, until you find a time that you put the sodium carbonate in here and it doesn't bubble. When it doesn't bubble anymore, that's when you know you you put enough in. Notice it's a lot clearer now, much clearer. I'm having trouble getting this one started too, so it might be done. 
Okay, I have my uh, coffee filters here. I've got a filter. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to leave this on the very low setting on the stove. Um, and I'll filter it into here. Okay, that went a lot better and a lot faster than I expected. Only about 20 minutes. You can see there are little particles inside there, so it's a good thing I filtered it. Don't want those in the crystals. Okay, this is the one from the windowsill. I probably left it a little too long, <laughs> about two weeks. You can see it's pretty hard caked in there. So I'll just chop some out and see if I can get some crystals, crystals out of it. You got a few crystals out of that. Here's the clearest one. It's got some nice uh, regular sides there, some flat sides. Very clear, should be good. I didn't get as many as I'd like, probably. Maybe I had the heat uh, on a little too low, or maybe when I was uh, had it on the windowsill there, maybe it was a little bit too cool. Anyway, this should work nicely. Well, thanks for watching. For more videos, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org. And have a look at the next video, where I do a bunch of tests with these Rochelle salt crystals. There's also a video where I use a piezoelectric crystal from a gift card to light an LED by hitting it with raindrops. And the Science and Technology playlist on my YouTube channel has even more neat science videos. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. See you soon!